You want to get a texture pack for Minecraft or a resource pack. They're the exact same thing because you want Minecraft to look like what you're seeing on your screen. Custom, different, and not vanilla anymore, which is kind of getting boring because you've been playing Minecraft a while or you just started playing Minecraft and you just think resource packs are cool. Well, this video is going to show you exactly how to get your own resource pack, but first we need to download one. In the description down below, the second link down below, you'll find this. This is our list of 15, it's actually more than that, I think it's actually 16 now, resource packs or texture packs for Minecraft 1.20 and these will work for 1.20 all the way up to 1.20.6. So any of those versions, this will work for and you can click these to jump around if you want to. Let's go ahead and grab Epic Adventures as one of our packs. We'll also go ahead and grab Doku Craft and Sfax Pure BD Craft because why not just grab all of these and uh, give them all a try. Once you've gotten your resource packs, it'll take you in some cases to our website here where you can click download to go to the official download page for each resource pack. Um, one thing I will mention is that some packs are going to have custom download pages, some packs are going to be here on CurseForge, and some packs are actually going to be on Moderinth. And the reason I like to mention Moderinth is because generally when you're downloading files, it's safe to download stuff from Moderinth as well as CurseForge and if you're downloading a link from our website. For example, our website takes you to Craft, which is their official website. Otherwise, be careful. Uh, sometimes you can get weird files and stuff with resource packs, so make sure you're downloading from a trusted source linked by us or on Moderinth or CurseForge. Nevertheless, for Epic Adventures on CurseForge, you'll go ahead and click on Files here and find the version you want. Any 1.20 version is going to work, so go ahead and click the three dots and click Download here, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, how to miss from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, or resource pack to your Minecraft server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So if you want to start a Minecraft server, start it the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and grab Doku Craft. There's actually three options for Doku Craft. Doku Craft Lite is actually my favorite. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Download Pack, and the pack will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save it. And then we'll go ahead and grab Pure BD Craft as well. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and find the version you want. We want to go ahead and download the version that is not supporter exclusive, be it you should become a supporter because it's awesome. So that means you're going to download 1.19. I did this on purpose. So we're going to go ahead and download the 1.19 version of this after we wait for this ad, accept their terms of use. There we go. The pack is now downloaded. Let's go ahead and get them installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft if you haven't already, and we want to move all of these packs to our desktop. Now for me, they're in my downloads folder, but for you, they'll be wherever you normally download files to. So I'm going to go ahead and move them all to my desktop. And then once they're on my desktop, it's super easy to install these in Minecraft. From the main menu, go to Options, and then Resource Packs, and then click Open Pack Folder. Again, that was from the main menu. Click on Options, Resource Pack, and then Open Pack Folder. Drag and drop any resource packs you want to install right into this Resource Packs folder. Now in game, all of these are red. They say incompatible! And it's because they aren't compatible with 1.20.6, meaning the armadillo texture isn't updated, and the wall farmer isn't updated. In those cases, they'll have the vanilla look to them, but these will work 100%, even Purity Craft with 1.19. Let's go ahead and start with that one. Hover over it, click the arrow here. It's going to give you this warning, but yes, you're good to go ahead and load it and click Done. When you do, Minecraft's going to reload, and you'll see immediately things have changed here. We can go ahead and jump on to a simple game hosting server where we will be able to see that these textures are working, and I'll even show you. You can switch textures right in-game. It's really, really cool so you don't have to go back to the main menu every time to change textures. Now, once we're in game, we can see that this texture pack is active. And uh, if we were to go ahead and spawn in, for example, an armadillo, you'll see that it is the default Minecraft texture, right? It's, it's going to be just the vanilla Minecraft texture here. That's because this pack doesn't have this texture, but everything else is updated. We can switch packs in game by going to Options Resource Packs, deselecting Pure BD Craft, going ahead and selecting, for example, the Epic Adventures pack, clicking Done, Minecraft reloads, and once it does, the new texture pack is active. Look at that, no denying that is now active. You can actually switch as well if we go into resource packs and stack these. So you could put, if you wanted, Doku Craft or something like that first, and then any textures Doku Craft doesn't have would then be Epic Adventures. This is especially helpful if you have like a weapons pack. So you could put the weapons pack first, that means the weapons would be whatever the weapons pack is. And then under that, you could put Epic Adventures or Pure BD Craft or Faithful or any other texture pack and all the rest of the textures, other than the weapons, would 
would be faithful and then anything faithful didn't have would be default. At this point though, you now know how to install resource packs in Minecraft Java Edition. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We will see you in the next video and I am out. Peace.